Welcome to the Totally Honest Cooking Show. I'm Mark. Today we're making a smoothie. I know, right? It's 89 degrees in here. My air conditioning's not on yet, so we're taking it easy. And I'm breaking out this new cookbook I got. The Bleep Face Regulation Cookbook. Only 500 of these got sold. I was lucky enough to snag one. More on that at the end of the video. And today we're doing Jeff's Purple Nightmare Smoothie. So let's get started. Okay, you're gonna need three tablespoons plain yogurt, two tablespoons of peanut butter, half a cup of milk, one cup of frozen blueberries, one banana, you're gonna take the peel off that in a minute, don't go nuts, and a tablespoon of honey. I've got clover honey, you do you. So we've got our blender out. This is my ninja. We're just gonna peel the banana. Drop that in there. Throw in our blueberries. Pour down our milk. Peanut butter. Get a little yogurt going. Come on, there we go. Try to avoid wastage. One tablespoon of honey. Lock the lid, turn on the power, and hide. Try to pry the lid off. There we go. Push it back down a little bit. Give it a couple pulses. Incorporate. Get your glass and your reusable straw. And there we have it. One purple nightmare. Let's see if I can get a better shot. Ugh. Blender in the light. Still not great. Jerkins, give me a shot like right here. Okay. Okay. I try really hard not to blog here, but I'm going to do it anyway for... A minute or so. This regulation cookbook comes from Rooster Teeth Entertainment, creators of Bleep Face. They are shutting their doors after 21 years and about a week or so, maybe two at this point. Um, and I thought, why not take a second and plug some people I like and just mention the importance of support. Buy the merch if they sell merch. Subscribe to their Patreon if they have a Patreon. I don't have a Patreon. I don't have enough subscribers for a Patreon. Maybe one day, not today. But buy things from the people that you like. This is not really a cookbook. It's more of a joke book that happens to have recipes in it. This is one of the few usable recipes in there that I can have being a gluten-free human. This is Sola's Beginning Beginner's Guide to Cooking. Um, haven't cracked into it yet, bought it. This is my summer reading. This is Mythical Chef Josh's cookbook. Very entertaining. He is the master of all things spice related. Like he can do anything from Taco Bell and that's not a joke, you know, whatever. Basics with Babish, Andrew Ray's basics cookbook. It's got all kinds of, this is how I made a mistake. I think it's very in line with the kind of crap that I envision when I set out to do this show, which as you might know, is totally about screwing up and not really knowing what you're doing and being anxious in the kitchen. And finally, you know it, you love it. We've done a couple recipes from it. J. Kenji Lopez Alts The Walk, a cookbook in which he set out to do a beginner's guide to cooking and then his walk section got so big that it became its own cookbook. 
And then, of course, there's people like the Barbecue Pit Boys who sell their own spice blends, knives, and barbecues. So, can you support everybody? No. Can you support some of the people you love? Yes. And you should, because if you don't, the people that we love go away. Okay? Now, I'm going to enjoy this delicious smoothie and an attempt to cool down. My AC is not yet on in my apartment for the season, and it is 90 degrees outside and probably higher inside. But this really is quite good. So, like, subscribe, ding the little bell, and I'll see you next weekend. Like, subscribe, ding the little bell, and I'll see you next Wednesday. Bye.